nowhere. Let's create. Ground meat with mashed potatoes. This is a sort of a casserole, some sort of casserole. And of course you're going to need some mashed potatoes. I'm not going to show in this video how to prepare them, but I'm going to put a link in the description just to show you. Now the meat, the ground meat, I said meat because it could be beef, could be turkey. I'm going with bison. And the ingredients, I will put them in the description. So, but they are very easy to find, to follow. So I have the ground meat here. I'm going to put some salt. So salt is one of the ingredients. Garlic powder. Not garlic salt, but garlic powder. Put some. I'm going to put a little bit of coriander. Um, if you have some garlic, you can get a garlic tea for two, doesn't matter. Just mince it, okay? Just to get it a flavor. If you want to add some pepper, ground pepper, that's up to you. Just a little bit, don't go crazy. Mix things well. Make sure this meat is out of the refrigerator for about 20, 30 minutes so it get into room temperature. Don't mix things well, okay? Make sure those flavors are mixed. Everything is fine. I'm going to use a cast iron. I'm going to put a little bit of oil. I'm going sunflower, sunflower. And I want to cook this baby. But first, I'm going to add some pepper. You can go bell pepper, red, yellow, orange combination, and a little bit of onions. I'm going to mix it up, heat it up. It's about two minutes later. I have another two for gar garlic. This one I chop. Going to add it to this thing for a few seconds. If you don't want them burn. And then I'm going to add the meat. Oh, this smells delicious. You're going to break it down. Heat is a medium high, by the way. And you're going to mix everything. When you're doing that, add several olives, not without the pit, just olive. Mix them up. Mix everything up well. If you want to add a little bit more salt, you don't need it, but if you do, because you don't feel you are enough, Add it now, that's breaking out. And you're going to start cooking this baby, okay? Breaking it out. Lower the heat to medium. Start breaking things out. When it's about 90% cooked, you're going to Add some turmeric, just a tiny bit, just a sprinkle. It's going to give it a nice color. Mix it up. I have grated tomatoes. Too small one or a large one. Look at that beauty. I use two of the small ones like this. See how small? Feed in my hand. 
And now what are you going to do? You get some smoked paprika. And add it on top. Add more here. Just a little bit on top. Mix things up. And you're going to let it cook, okay? I said about five minutes. It's been five minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off. I got here a cast iron because it's oven friendly. This one fits my hand and I'm thick. You can use one of these baking containers too. It doesn't matter. What it matter is that I'm going to transfer the meat. And this one is bison, so it's not a lot of water in comparison to something like, let's say, beef. But you don't have to worry about it. Use something that has little holes like that, so minimize the amount of the liquid. But I don't care about that because, you know, I want this stuff nice. So you're going to transfer everything from here to here. Now I come the mashed potatoes. If you had them from the night before, the day before, or they're a little bit thick, you can add a little bit more milk to soften it. In my case, I add some chicken uh, broth, a little bit, you know, a couple of teaspoon to soften it a little bit. You don't want it thick. You don't want it watery, but you don't want it thick. Link in the description to how to prepare these babies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a layer of this on top. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be fancy. Just put a layer on top. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. It has to make it look a little bit pretty. But it doesn't have to. Oven is preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to put a little aluminum foil on top. Into the oven it goes. I have it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to let it go for about 12, 15 minutes. And if it needs a little bit more time, I will shake it out. Okay? 12 or so minutes later. Let me take a look at things. Look at this baby. So what I'm going to do, I got some black paper. I'm going to put a tiny bit, okay? Give it some character, some color. And what I'm going to do, see how it looks? I'm going, to co I'm going to put it back in without cover. I'm going to put the cover away. And I'm going to let it go for about five minutes, okay? Take a quick glance after a couple of minutes. If you see that I have had this stuff going on, just cover it. Again. Let it go for about three minutes, okay? Now, you could add cheese. If you add cheese on it, like yellow cheese, whatever, you know, Uncover it because the shit will melt and will make it look nice and tasty, but I don't want cheese. Take it out. And let it rest. And I'm going to let it rest for about five or so minutes, okay? 